Yeah, welcome to college. Wait. And then he killed all the kids at FSU, these girls from FSU. And a we're driving around the 80 degree weather, I think we can talk about the, uh, the polar vortex that hit the north. Should we dig in? Oh yeah. Ryan got KFC in Ireland. We got some, what are these? Those are the fillets, the boneless fillet chicken breasts. Boneless fillet chicken breasts. And we've got okay. biscuits. We have some mashed potatoes with gravy. And then Is these the are chicken tenders. And then coleslaw. that is coleslaw. Can you see it? There you go. All right, so let's dig in a little bit. What'd you get today, Ryan? Um, I had, I got like some chicken for tomorrow, so I got a Mighty Bucket, which is like, it's got like two of every type of chicken. And I don't think we like had that here. For dinner. Okay. So like, I don't think they have those in the US. These mashed potatoes are definitely not real. We got the $20 oh, over here bucket. Are so fake and nasty. I like them though. Okay, so then we have some yeah, sauces. We have honey mustard. Oh, no I just spilled the barbecue. And then Daddy has something else. There's ranch, and then there's the uh, finger licking sauce, which I think is kind of spicy. I don't know, um, kind of like a spicy Russian or something. Okay. I think as we're driving around the 80 degree weather, I think we can talk about the uh, the polar vortex that hit the north this week. It's unbelievable. It's like 20, 23 people have died. From the from the cold. I mean, but All to right. put that into perspective, here goes my first KFC died. bite ever. Five people died during the hurricane in Ireland last year, and that was like like your average thunderstorm. Like it was not a hurricane. Not bad. Not yeah, bad. the one you know, one kid, the college kid, got found like outside a library. He it got to be like minus fifty five with the wind chill. Young kid. Yeah, some some guy in Ireland last year in Cork. He cut. He was trying to cut down a tree branch that had half fallen and it fell on him and he died. That's not funny. A widow maker. That's kind of funny. You gotta be. Pre That's what we call a Darwin Award. Okay, moving on. Um, do you want water? No, I'm good. Okay. So, did you hear the big news about Jeffrey Star yesterday, Ryan? No, I did not. Oh my God, big announcement. Jeffree Star it has a new collaboration of brushes out with Morphe. So, I'm good. Mm-hmm. That has just made my day. Mm-hmm, and they're pink. Because mm. <laughs> you need more for your makeup toolkit. Mm-hmm. Can you, do you order them directly from Morphe or do you, can you get them at Ulta or Sephora? I think they'll be available at all of them. It come out on the fourth. Mm. And I thought it was interesting that I, did you wash Shane's thing, honey? No. Mm. I have not had a chance. I got the I mashed potatoes are shows. instant mashed potatoes, but they're okay. Yeah, but they're fire. They're fire for those instant mm. mashed potatoes. Yeah, really yeah they're really them. yummy, but mm. I don't really like them. Yeah, you just. Need to take them. Can I try the, the KFC sauce? The finger licking sauce? Mm. Yep. Okay. I like all the sauces. Wait, they keep playing I don't this like loud that. speaker outside my room. Mm -hmm. And like, it's like a, it's like a, one of the megaphones. Mm -hmm. It's on the construction site, but it's like broken. And it's like, it sounds like a voice out of a horror movie. How's like, the weather there today, Ryan? Like 40. It's not that bad. That's pretty cool. I just kind of avoided going outside today. Today was Saturday, so I had a lazy day. How did you get KFC? Deliveroo. I have Deliveroo Plus, so I might as well deliver it. Deliveroo. Not sponsored. Sponsor Ryan. <laughs> Hit my line. Hit him up. <laughs> Is that an Irish company, Deliveroo, or do they have them like, all over Europe? Um, no, it's like in England. And it's like mostly England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, mm. I think. 
I don't think they have it in the rest of Europe. Do they deliver in cars or like scooters? No, it's all bikes or mopeds. Oh, really? Everybody, even Uber Eats here is all bikes or mopeds. Even it's UPS has like a little funny thing. It's so much faster. Like to drive from halls last year, it would take you like mm, I remember. 45, 45 minutes mm -hmm. depending on traffic. Mm -hmm. it, you could bike in in 15 minutes. Yeah, much quicker. Well, today we had a little problem. What was that? Daddy was having a meltdown. No, we're just... Oh, no. Did somebody touch his shit? No, <laughs> nobody touched my shit, but it was... No, it was just... They just decided to, like, shut down the road for three miles on the way back, like... We when were they, in traffic like, for, like, an hour. Okay, also, mile. I'm really not happy about, they're starting to have, like, competitive cyclists here. And they block, they're blocking up the fucking Oh, road. that's daddy's favorite. Oh, oh that's another one of my pet peeves. Mm-hmm. You remember they in Texas when they used to shut the roads down? Oh, no, no, they, they just block the whole fucking road. And, like, it's worse here because, like, they don't know how to drive cars here or build roads. So they build like, bad. one lane in, like, the middle of the city. And, like, they don't realize that they need, like, at least two lanes in the middle of the city. So it just blocks up everything. Yeah, how do they get the sheep to market if they only only have one lane? I like for real. They're still bringing the, like potatoes in on the backs of horses. Okay. Stop. Now, on a scale um, of one to ten. All right. Here's another question. Like a three. If you could invite five famous or noted people, past or present, to dinner, who would you choose and why? Elon Musk, obviously. Why? He's, he's crazy, and just, I just want to meet him just to see if he's really crazy. Elon Musk, okay. And, he, and he's going to be the first man on Mars. Like, do they have to get along? Like, or or like, do you have five separate dinners, or do they all have to get along to, together? Connection out. We're having a huge dinner party. You get to what? invite five people that will yeah. come. So, um, Elon Musk. Wells. I would invite Ellen. No. Yes, because she would be the no. best person to have at a party. Teddy Roosevelt. He would be really interesting. Yeah, he'd be interesting. FDR. Okay. Because then we'll be all political. No. No, 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 no. Teddy would be great stories about like I, just think I was hunting was bear cool. in Africa. Teddy was cool as Okay, maybe not like Africa. A total, like, like, he just like did whatever he wanted. He didn't care. Mm -hmm. He just did not give a shit. Like no F for um, given. And then FDR was like, I think he would be a cool person to talk to because he was president during the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And like kind of pulled us out of it. Um, Actually, World War II pulled us out of it, but he he did a good job of kind of keeping yeah, us afloat. Yeah, he he, he put us in the right direction though. Okay, I would have I would invite Obama. No. Honey, it's my list, not yours. You invite your people, I get to invite The ground would bring Donald J. Trump. What possible reason could you have for inviting Barack Obama? I think I he's probably interesting. interesting. See, you got, Ryan would probably get Trump, and I would probably pick George W. Bush. I would pick George W. I think he's I a really interesting Trump. guy. I would pick George W. I'm glad no one picked Donald Trump. But and okay. George W. was, well, he was I, ahead of... I, I just think Donald would just overpower the party. Oh. Um, who else? So I have picked... Everybody else is a pick? loser. I'm huge, right. and they're not. Come on. Who would you pick? <laughs> Try to push his big red button. <laughs> who would you pick, Frank? His is bigger. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, Albert Einstein. I think he would be really interesting. I bet he'd be fun at a party. Yeah, I've heard he was actually like a, like a really cool guy. I watched a documentary on him. I mean, he's would... brilliant, but he also seems like he was kind of like, kind of a normal guy too. Yeah, sociable. Because like, he was actually famous while he was alive. He's like not like most of the scientists. I also would like to meet Dolly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he was... How about Neil deGrasse Tyson? I think he would be really interesting. Oh, Max would love Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, uh, deGrasse. DeGrasse Tyson. Oh, I think it was deGrasse High School was the TV show. Yeah, we, were, we literally had this argument with, with 
be his boyfriend yesterday. Um, he kept saying Degrassi, and he... Because he smokes Degrassi? I mean, he does. We don't need I don't know. Well, all right. Okay, so how many of you picked? Um, I think I was at four. Three. You picked Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, two more then. FDR. FDR. George W. Oh, no, Daddy picked him. Uh, no, no, and I had Elon Musk. Oh, yeah, so three. So you get two more. I know my next person. Who? It's either, it's probably James Charles. James Charles and Jeffree oh. Star. Oh. And Shane so Dawson. And David Dobrik. Uh, and Zane Hijaz Hijazi. Gotta have fun. Those guys are cute. And Heath, Heath. I definitely would like to have Heath. Kazar, or what's his name? Hazar. Hazar. Um, but. I would see. I would go back a little bit more in time. I think I would go with. Uh, I would like Henry VIII, and no. I think he'd be Ford. really. I would love to sit down. He would with be him. really interesting Henry too. Henry Ford would be interesting. He would be such an interesting person. Ben Franklin, I would think, would be interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, he like started the post office. He's a diplomat. He like, you know, is. Involved in the yeah. starting the fire engines and Thomas Jefferson would be cool. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Who else? How many did you pick? You picked Not I think Shakespeare. You're would never. Would never want to. What about like? Oh. Any Irish people you would pick? What about family members? James Joyce? No. What about dead family members? What? Um, no, not really. You know what I'd love to sit down with? Who? Winston Churchill. Yeah, he would be interesting too. Mm -hmm. I I was reading an article. And he could day, drink. <laughs> and when Winston Churchill visited the U.S. during World War II, oh, he got the letter. His doctor prescribed him at least three hundred milliliters of alcohol per night, mm -hmm. or more, if the if the patient I, wishes so. I'll so, insert the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone really get funny. weed? Did it, was anyone allowed to have marijuana? I don't know. I hope so. Medical marijuana. <laughs> they have medical marijuana. I don't marijuana. think that was a thing back then. Do they have medical marijuana yeah. in Ireland? Well, it's kind of no. in limbo. They kind of, remember no, they kind no, of no, were no. trying. If you want to get a medical marijuana prescription in Ireland, you have to get a, le a like a personal letter from the head of the health and safety department equivalent. I'll, I'll turn this around so you can see Ryan too. Yeah, there was. Uh, they had a big thing about it because like one little girl had seizures there or something, and their family was these. trying to get the um, the card, yeah. and they went and they brought her, um, they got her marijuana. But I don't think there's there's no dispensaries or anything. But I don't think they're no. too hung up on it. I mean, they pretty much have decriminalized it. Well, the thing is, is not not as many people smoke here to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but it's like Texas. Not, not anybody. Well, it's really... because like people just start drinking at fifteen. They don't like smoke then drink. Like, and I here like they do the opposite. It's harder to get in the U.S., so people just get weed instead. Oh. And then. Interesting. Here it's just easier to get alcohol. Mm-hmm. So we watched Ted Bundy on Netflix last night. Oh, I I've been meaning to watch it. That was okay. I mean, he was a complete nut job. He really wasn't that good of a serial killer, is all I'm saying. Like, I mean, it was like, and I mean, he, like, he killed, to, like, well, like, over 30 eventually, but, I mean, not that he wasn't, I mean, he killed a lot of people, but he wouldn't have, yeah, you know, in like this hundreds. day and age, he wouldn't have gotten away with much. I mean, they would have been like, oh, yeah. I mean. Yeah, no, no, no so, that's literally what Ollie Feeney was saying to me um, yesterday. He said he was watching it, and he's like, 
But like, what you realize is how much the technology has come in like 50 it's a years, ma- like, 40 years. Oh yeah. Well, I think yeah. like you said, I mean, I think there was always serial killers. I just think nobody knew because if it wasn't in your town or yeah. the next town yeah. over, I mean, I think everybody was like kind of like, oh. Do I'm you know just- he broke out of jail twice? He jumped out a window out of a court out of a courthouse in Aspen, Colorado, and then they put him in like a maximum maximum security prison. And he, he lit- climbed through the vent in the roof. Is that what he did? No. Yeah. And then he yeah, escaped from there. Videos. And then he killed all the kids at FSU, these girls from FSU. And a 12-year-old girl, too. And a 12-year-old girl from um, Florida. Lake City or something. Yeah. 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 He was like, he was like, but but then he represented himself in, in He was in kind court. of a mental case. I mean, he was completely mental. <laughs> completely. Obviously. Like, But I think he really habit. thought he could get away with it. Like, yeah. you know? Like he was so stunned when he got convicted after he, he um, yeah, fired yeah. all his lawyers, um, and lawyers, and and you know disrupted the court. And I thought the judge was really nice in his case to him, which I would never have been. But well, but they don't want to get you know well, that's the thing, show bias, the judge, and then they contest it, it, and then yeah. like it gets thrown out because they can say, oh, oh the judge biased. was biased. I mean, yeah. they, you know, it's better off the guy. Actually, what he said was, you know. You're a really smart guy. You could have been you, something. You could have been something. I would have loved to have you here arguing cases in front of me. You just chose the wrong path. So, but the interesting part is that he like grew up like, you know, he grew up in a very normal family, like Boy Scouts. His parents were good people. They went to church every weekend. Like, you know, looking he, like he had a traumatic he, Christian upbringing. folk. <laughs> I think is what they said. I didn't make a so. comment. What is that? What? What's that sauce? Hot sauce. Oh, they have hot sauce too. Yeah, it's just like, like French. sriracha. No, it's like French so uh, many sauces. Yeah. So I told the lady when we were like picking Buffalo up the sauce. food that it was my first time ever eating KFC, and she's like, "Really? I'm gonna go back and tell her it would be the." How was it your first time eating? I've KFC? never had KFC in my life. I've never had Taco Bell <laughs> ever. Never. By the way, oh, I'm never getting it again. <laughs> Everybody's asking me for Patriot shirts. Uh, who's asking you for one. Patriot shirts? All our Irish friends? Colette. Oh, is she, she's American? No. She's from Connecticut. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, tomorrow is the Super Bowl, and we are going to Alexis and Tim's. Shout out to Alexis and Tim. Daddy is preparing his world famous ribs already. He has the rub put all on, on them. Yep. I dry rubbed it and then. He dry rubbed it, right? cook them. <laughs> I did. I'm just. just sitting with nope. your hood on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and then tomorrow, what My do you do? My head's in Snapchat. Okay. Well. Are you done eating? Me? Yeah. I didn't eat. You had you had KFC. Earlier. Oh, you were supposed to eat with us. I, mean, I can't eat right now. I ate like an hour and a half ago. Did you get boneless or bone chicken? I actually well, I got a bunch of bone chicken for tomorrow, but um, I got uh, like a chicken burger. It's oh really yeah. Good. They're like kind of like spicy chicken burgers. It's kind of like the Chick Fil A, like I think that's what Trisha Paytas eats. Burger. Yeah, I like the. Uh, in the US. I used to always get the Wendy's spicy chicken. That was that's yeah. pretty good. I hate Wendy's. I don't eat their burgers. I just like their spicy chicken. I've been to, to Wendy's that. actually with Daddy once. I've been to Wendy's like once. Mm, not my favorite. Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been more than once, many more times than once. What are you looking at? Someone's waiting for some chicken below my feet. So, well, Ryan, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you again for joining our mukbang today. I love you. You're gonna have to adjust your schedule to watch the too. Patriots game. Yes. The Super Bowl. It's yes. on at six. We will be watching. Oh, I know. I already. When did you send me a Chromecast? I don't know. Can you use it? Yeah. 
because I literally was like, I was like, oh, I have to go find where I can get a Chromecast so I can play it on the TV, uh, the TV in my I kitchen. I gave it to you, you when you went and back to school. And then I came school. back drunk the other night, and I was like, oh my god, there's a Chromecast on my computer. How long has that been sitting there? No, 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 no. like, our apartment was bad. Mm-hmm. Like, we had, like, like, one time, Khan just decided not to do dishes for, like, a month. Oh, I remember that. And, and you were writing a message. And dishes from the stove. All the way across the counter to the me sink. Mm-hmm. And so we took his dishes and we put them in the closet and told him that they were ready that for him to <laughs> do them when, when he was ready. But you didn't have a dishwasher last year, did you? No, but we, we've never used the dishwasher this year. Oh, really? Why not? We don't, like, put enough dishes through it. To do like, it, you know. Yeah, like, we don't, we don't, we'll never, we'll get a load a week, like... Question for you, do they use metal or plastic straws over there? Or are they having an issue with the straws? Um, everybody... Or paper? Well, McDonald's all switch using paper. Oh, oh really? Uh, interesting. And like, Starbucks is switching this year, too. Starbucks is also switching their cups again. Oh, yeah. I hate paper straws. I bought a whole bunch of... No, no, no. Well, they've got paper metal cups. straws. They no, they're switching their, aren't they switching their lids? The what? plastic, the plastic lids that they have? Yeah, they still use them. I think they're going to switch those lids is what... To paper? Like, Starbucks has already got paper cups. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So, I like Starbucks. All right, Ryan. Well, I'm done eating. We have a lot of chicken left over, but we'll save it. We'll have it later tonight. It, it heats up really nice. Okay. We got, we'll have, we some have some big, fat, happy dogs. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they'll get a piece. Um, honey, don't do that. Um, so, well, we hope you have an awesome day. We hope you enjoyed our mukbang today. Please be nice to others. And remember, smiles are free and the tea is always hot. Have a great day.